And so to the women's one mile and another of those great head-to-head -head clashes here between Mariam Jamal and Galita Burka, world champions indoors and out over 1,500 metres. Jamal now representing Bahrain, but who was born in Ethiopia. And Burka, world champion outdoors last year, or she was attempting to become when she was tripped yeah. in the closing stages when she looked all over the winner. So on the inside, Violeta Frankowicz of Poland, better known as a steeplechaser. Ingvil Nakestad of Norway, second from the inside. Next to her is Hilary Stellingberg of Canada, best of four minutes and 32 seconds thereabouts. Then Helen Clitheroe. twice a winner of the European Cup. Next to her, the young Ethiopian, just 18 years of age, won silver over 1,500 metres at the World Junior Championships in 2008 behind step 12. Then Galita Burka of Ethiopia, the reigning world indoor champion, and would have gone so, so close to winning the outdoor title last year in Berlin had she not fallen on the last lap. The pacemaker, Karen Shinkins, is just to her right, and then making up the field, 10 athletes, Charlotte Best for Britain on the outside. Well, the world record in this event has stood for no fewer than 20 years, set by Romania's Doina Melinte in the USA. 1990. So they're underway, 10 athletes, and this is expected to be a fascinating contest between Marianne Jamal and Galita Burka, world champions over 1500 metres indoors and out and the pacemaker, the designated rabbit here, Karen Shinkins is taking them along and already the two main protagonists have made their way right up to virtually join the pacemaker and there's a slight gap back then to the youngest of the Ethiopians in the field, Kalkadan Gezahain who was close up behind Steph Twell in the World Junior Championships a couple of years ago, they've completed one of the seven laps, Brendan. Karen Shinkins of Ireland sending a pace here, she's better known as a 400 metre runner, so she's got to be a little bit careful, she doesn't go too quickly, but immediately the two world champions, the world indoor champion in second place, Galina Berker, she also was a former world short course cross country champion, so she's strong and powerful, and Jamal in third place, just behind Galina Berger, just notice her clicking her heels there, a little bit of an in interruption to that point, but these two athletes are now sending off in with intent 62.9 for the first 440 yards and that's just about exactly the same time as Doina Malinti back in 1990 set a world record. Still the pacemaker taking them along and Burka in second place. Jamal tracking her every move, looking to pounce in the closing stages. A winner here last year, Jamal, and through to the back of the field. There's Helen Fitherow wearing vest number four, just moving to the outside, steering clear of any trouble. But they're a long way adrift, some 35 metres or so adrift of the two Ethiopians up ahead in the lead, heading down the back straight, and they'll come around to see the lap marker showing just four to go as the pacemaker steps away. Up front there you see the two Ethiopians, or the Ethiopian and the Bahraini athlete who was born in Ethiopia there in second place, Jamal. Still though, looking very comfortable as Burka takes them along in the lead. Down the home straight, four laps to go, 800 metres between these two and the victory. Who will it go to? Brendan. Well, these two athletes are now setting off with real intent. Two minutes and nine seconds for 880 yards. So they're just slowing a little bit now. And it's really now about the intention of Galina Burka of Ethiopia. Is she really committed to trying to break this world record? Or is she going to be affected by the two times world champion and former country woman Jamal who's on her shoulder? So now Burka needs to commit to the race needs to commit to her own performance because Jamal is getting a very comfortable and a very easy ride on her 
shoulder. This is the first time we've seen Jamal running indoors this winter. We didn't know how much of her form was strong or otherwise. She's been so classy when winning those two world titles. But has she got the power? Has she got the ability to go with this relentless pace being set by Jelena Berger? Towards the back of the field, Helen Clitheroe at the moment is in sixth place. And when you look at the pace of these two athletes in front, then you get an impression of what an impressive performance it was by Lisa Dabrisky to take silver in the World Championships outdoors last year. And here's Clitheroe coming through in sixth place. And they're about 40, 45 metres adrift of the leaders now. And the race taking shape here, but a slight change with the third place athlete, Geza Hain, the junior, the world junior silver medalist behind Stephanie Twell. The main pacemaker, Jalita Berker, has drifted off that world record pace. Jamal seems to be bumping onto the track on the inside, having a bit of trouble as they come down. Berger leads. Jamal, the strong finisher in second place, and the other Ethiopian athlete closing down quickly. And Berker in the lead then, with under 200 metres to run, and she's looking strong. Jamal can't respond. The bigger danger comes from the 18-year-old Ethiopian Kalkadan Geza Hein onto the top of the bend. Berker, though, is still looking imperious in the lead. It's a two-metre advantage. Geza Hein is trying to close. Jamal is a spent fourth in third place. Clithero is coming through towards the back of the field. Berker wins. Geza Hein in second place. Jamal in third. Four minutes. 23.54 seconds it's something like the eighth fastest mile in history a terrific performance by Berker virtually from the front all the way dominated throughout the race and came home a comfortable winner from Geza Hein in second place Jamal in third and Clitheroe down the field well that was a tough way to do it Go opening up two minutes and nine seconds for the first 880 yards and then about 2 minutes and 13 seconds for the next 800 minutes. But I'll tell you what, when you go out like that to try and break a world record and commit to that attempt, end up setting the pace. She nearly threw it away. There they come, down the straight. There's the leader, Berger. She's been leading all the way. She's run the finish out of Jamal in second place. And then Geza Hain, the young Ethiopian, ju judged it much better as it turned out, coming quickly past the world champion she'll be delighted with that and then coming into contention with Jelena Berger Berger coming under pressure Geza Hein battling keep it going keep it driving and there coming down the finishing straight a well deserved victory slightly slower than she anticipated 4 minutes and 23 seconds and interestingly she made it hard for herself but it was a good good victory and Jelena Berger is downstairs going with Phil Jones and a very happy Jalita as well. Congratulations on that run. Tell me about that race from, from your point of view. That's a very nice uh, race. I already I'm ready for a uh, world record for one mile. Ah, oh, but uh, I will come here. You know, running together a uh, top athlete is uh, for world record uh, no cost win. But for winners, I'm very happy. Thank you very much. And so Finally, let me ask you about the World Championships in Doha, what you hope to achieve there. Yeah, of course. I'll be in my training course, so this is very nice. I'm doing it for this uh, same season, but uh, I'll do the best for World Champion in Doha also. Well, it's wonderful to see you run so well today. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> the fastest women's mile ever seen in this country indoors. Galita Berker, the winner, 4 minutes 23.53 seconds. And Helen Clitheroe in the end coming through 